For that, we want to head back to Morgan City with News 10 Sky Price videographer Kelvin Drexler uh, braving the conditions for us. Kai, give us the latest information out there in Morgan City. We see you guys trying to keep the camera dry. Give us a very clear view of what's happening. If you could, just fill us in on what has unfolded since the last time we spoke. Yeah, darling, Dalfred, as you can see, I had to, you know, get to higher ground because as you can see, the water is starting to rising. And one thing that I'm noticing is that as this category two hurricane is passing through Morgan City, you're, you're starting to see a lot of these wind gusts. And of course, these wind gusts are hurricane wind gusts and also tropical storm wind gusts. Now, aside, of course, from the wind, of course, we have the debris as well. Now, as you can see, you know, from the wind, the wind is just pushing debris and pushing branches all to where I am and to where Kelvin and I am. And Kelvin, if you could just turn that way and just show it as well. Now, as you can see, you know, the water is continuing to rise. I'm not sure how much rain this is, but of course, the roadways are starting to be flooded. Now, of course, if you are out on the roadways, please, please, please uh, find shelter, you know, as this water continues to rise with cars passing through the water, you know, you could get stuck. And so, you know, you are advised by law enforcement, of course, to take shelter until this hurricane passes through. Now, of course, I will continue to bring you guys updates on the conditions. Of course, the conditions now are still the same as they were a few minutes ago, maybe a little bit worse. Of course, as the day goes on, I will continue to give you guys those conditions and also, you know, a few new things, you know, as the storm passes through. But for now, live in St. Mary Parish, Kai Price, Caleb Y News 10.